Hello everyone, it's Alex. Thank you guys so much for tuning in today. Today I have a fun video for you guys. As most of you may know, the color, the Pantone color of the year for 2019 is coral. And it is a very popular color and I'm sure a lot of brands are going to come out with some special type of coral uh, product or makeup item that is going to entice you and you're going to see it beautiful and you're going to be like, I need it because I don't have something like that. So I just wanted to share with you guys that you most likely have something in your collection that is a coral shade in every aspect you can think of, whether it's wardrobe, accessories, uh, makeup, uh, hair care, nail care, whatever the case may be, we have it in our collection. Now I pulled out a few items out of my personal collection. Some of these items may not be available anymore, but the whole point of this video is not to run out to get what I have. It's to check your own collection and pull out the things that will remind you of the color of the year and you will love and enjoy still be on trend without having to spend the money on it. Cause I'm almost positive you at least have one thing in your collection that is coral or similar to it that you can be on trend for this year. So I'm going to go ahead and get started and show you a bunch of products. So first we're going to start out with eyeshadows. I'm pretty sure most of you have this. It is the Too Faced Sweet Peach Palette. As you guys know in here you do have two coral shades in here that go perfectly well with the color of the year. So if you have this, pull it out, it smells delicious, and you can be on trend. Another brand that I found a few are Coastal Scents Hot Pots. If you have these, I saw that Georgia Peach, which is this similar shade right here. Let me see if I could swatch these for you guys. This is more of like an orangey um, type of shade. I don't know if you guys can see that right there. Another one that I thought was very, very uh, close to the color of the year is called Peachy Keen, which you guys can see here. It is a beautiful peachy orange on there. You see that? You can mix these two together as well and come up with something. So I found some singles in my Coastal Scents that go very well with the color of the year, as well as I found this one in my Davina singles, Davina Cosmetics singles that I had mentioned you guys I had purchased. This is called Lala Orange, which is a super fluorescent type of color, but it is beautiful sheared out, as you guys can see there. I am sure you guys have some sort of eyeshadow in your collection that is a corally shade. For those that are telling me, no, I do not, Alex, well, let me share with you guys some blushes that can be used as eyeshadows. The first one, now let me tell you, I have a million coral blushes, but these are the ones that I just pulled out randomly to show you different finishes. First one is this Too Faced uh, Sweetheart Blush, and this is in Sparkling Bellini. Look at the coralness of this. It is so beautiful. Definitely on trend. Do not need to purchase any coral blushes. At least I know that for a fact in my own collection. I have a ton. They're my favorite to wear. Another one that I found was the Too Faced Papa Don't Peach one. Look how beautiful that one is. It is a beautiful peachy coral. Oh, that is stunning. It's right there, as you guys can see. And all of these can be used as eyeshadows as well. So if you don't have any coral eyeshadows, pull out your blushes. Those work amazingly. Another one, it says it in the name, Coralista by Benefit. Look how beautiful that one is. Beautiful. Yes, it is gorgeous on the cheek, super soft, and can also be used as a... Uh, Eyeshadow. Last but not least, this one is discontinued, but I wanted to share another one with you guys. This is Maybelline Highlight in Coral. This is the one that had the few little, um, see how they're all very similar? So if you have one, you have them all. That's basically it. Some of them have more of a satin finish. Some of them are more of a matte, but you guys can use all of these on your eyes as well. Now you're probably thinking, well, Alex, what about highlighters? I got you covered there too. I'm going to show you three highlighters that are very similar to a coral look, but do not look corally on the cheeks. They more look like a peachy uh, gold highlight on the cheeks, but they are 
in the whole coral peachy undertone family. First and foremost is Bobbi Brown. This one is in Nectar. As you guys can see in the name, you can clearly see that it is a coral. It is stunning, you guys. Oh, beautiful. Another Bobbi Brown that I love, and I think this was limited edition. This is Apricot. This is one of my first ones that I ever purchased. Love this one. This is like a gold peachy undertone. It is beautiful. Beautiful. The last one that I have for you is from Bare Minerals. This is their Invisible Glow Powder Highlighter in the shade Deep, Dark to Deep. I just used this one recently, as you guys can see here. This one is beautiful. And this could be um, a highlighter on some and a blush topper on others. You can see right there. So highlighters, I am sure something, even like a uh, rose gold undertone will look really beautiful and can kind of look like a coral shade. Now let's move on to lips. I have a few here to share with you guys. This one I know is discontinued, but I love this shade. This is the Dior Fluid uh, Addict, Dior Addict Fluid Stick in uh, Magique 479. This is such a stunning shade. It is beautiful, and I've always loved the formula of this. So there's like a deeper coral shade. Then I have this one in Bare Minerals. This is the uh, Marvelous Moxie in Go The Distance. You guys can see that is a definite coral. And there it is right there. I'm very surprised that I don't have too many corals in my collection. I have decluttered quite a few over the years. Last one that I have is this Wet n Wild one in Coral Corruption. And this is their Catsuit Liquid Catsuits. And this is a liquid lipstick. So as you guys can see right there. There are a ton out there that I can tell you. I know L'Oreal has a line where they're like more of a moisturizing lipstick. I'm pretty sure that they have a coral in there. I know Revlon has a few corally lipsticks in their line that I have decluttered over the years, but I know they have some. And last, uh, for the lips, I have two lip glosses I wanted to share with you guys. Now, both of these are not available, but I'm sure you have something similar in your collection. This is the Lorac Lip Luster Cream in fairy tale. This is a beautiful coral and the formula of these Lorac ones are one of my favorites. I love them. And then the other one is this Estee Lauder Pink Innocent Shimmer Gloss, which is more of a coral undertone to it. It's not so much pink. It's like a shimmery peachy coral shade. As you could see right there. So these are the two lip glosses that I would say. I don't have many lip glosses in my collection, but I was able to find these two corals that I actually use and enjoy. Now last but not least, I have one nail polish that I wanted to share with you guys that I thought was perfect. This is the Sally Henson Hard as Nails Extreme Wear Nail Color in Coral Reef. And here's the epitome of the shade of the year. So here you go. I also have shirts that are coral. I have accessories earrings, bracelets, rings that have some gems in them. You're going to see it everywhere. And I just wanted to encourage you guys to look through your collection, look through your whole entire wardrobe to see what you have. Because I'm almost positive there's going to be special limited edition things coming out with the coral packaging, the coral colors, and I'm sure that you have something in your collection. So that is it, guys. I will list and link anything that is available if you are interested to look into it further. But again, the whole reason of me doing this video is just to encourage you to shop your collection, see what you have, see the examples that I'm giving you so you guys can have an idea of what shades that the color of the year are and what you guys can use. I'm sure most of you have like this one or this one. So I'm pretty sure you have something in your collection. So thank you guys so much for watching. I will catch you guys in my next video. And don't forget that a smile is the best makeup a girl can wear. Bye guys.